Hey everybody, welcome to The Budget Wife. I'm gonna do a video to talk about how to have a budget for Christmas. And this is something I started last year and I've had people ask me about doing a video on uh, sinking funds and, and Christmas specifically. So if you subscribe and look at my videos, you'll, you'll see that I keep savings accounts for different items through the year. And one of them is Christmas. These are called sinking funds. And so what I do, every paycheck, I put a little bit of money away for Christmas. It's one of my sinking funds, okay? So I'm just gonna show you how I decided how much to put away for Christmas. So we have five children, and so our Christmas budget, we decided on each kid, we're gonna spend $100 for Christmas. So Noah, Georgia, Titus, Silas, and Asher. Those are our five kids. So that's what we're gonna spend on them for Christmas. Then for my husband, we're gonna spend 100. For me, 100. For my in-laws, 100. For my parents, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And then we have $300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300 of money for Christmas that we can spend on maybe going out for a Christmas Eve dinner, maybe taking the kids out for something like hot chocolate and Christmas music one night, or if maybe one of the kids, like so my younger son, it's easier for me to find presents for him in this budget. If I'm struggling with the older kids staying in budget, I have a little bit of wiggle room with this 300. So what happened is I decided at the beginning of the year, I feel like for a family of seven and with our parents and the grandparents, we felt like $1,200 is how much we typically spend at Christmas time. And so what I did, my husband gets paid bi-weekly or bi-monthly. And so I knew that was 24 paychecks. And so for the last 24 paychecks, every paycheck, I have put $50 in our Christmas envelope. So basically, when you do that 24 times, by the time it's Christmas time, you have your full $1,200, and Christmas is not on the credit card. So I just wanted to show you um, how this $1,200 would be broken up. And this is the first Christmas that we have not had to put the gifts on the credit card. Uh, sinking funds works. I've done this for one year and I love it. I love it so much. So subscribe to my videos and if you look through my videos, you will see if you go back a ways, you'll start to see all of the categories I keep. I keep back to school. I keep birthdays. I keep giving. Uh, we keep family fun. So there's a lot of different categories that we keep in sinking funds. And this is one way that you're living with the money that you have. You're not putting the money on the credit card. And it's a lot more enjoyable to go Christmas shopping when you have the money and it doesn't have to go on the credit card. So I want you to consider this form of budgeting. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not so far. And check out the sinking fund videos if you want to learn a little bit more about savings and how to keep a budget. So hope you all have a great Christmas and I just wanted to share this with you.